everybody welcome back to the channel it's another video 15,000 subscribers <laughs> I haven't sat in this chair in a really really long time and I wanted to start this series of videos that I'm gonna be filming today with something a little bit more fun so recently I've been watching the GQ top 10 essentials videos that you know they they get artists and celebrities and whatever doing those videos and I thought this is actually a cool video to film because I want something fun to film, okay? Uh, so that's what we're gonna do right now, today, right now. All right, so these are gonna be my top 10 essentials. I might even have an 11th one, but there's a reason. There's always a reason behind the season, the, the season, the me's and the whatever. What are you saying? No, stop. I'm not even gonna beat around the bush. A phone, my phone is a definite essential. I don't even know, like if you're somebody who can go a day without using a phone or a weekend without using a phone like you are you are something kind of special okay you are really really something kind of special but for me my phone is everything because my phone is my family my phone is my work my phone is my connection to you guys my phone is everything so my phone is a definite essential. This is how I connect with the people that I care about, obviously. The next essential is, listen, if you watch my channel, you are not gonna be a stranger to any of these. The next essentials are candles. Now, I buy candles from everywhere, but recently I buy a lot of pillar candles. And if you watch my vlogs, you will know why I buy pillar candles but i actually have them all over the house now uh recently about three four weeks ago maybe a little over a month ago i um i went through a little something something and candles make me feel warm make me feel comforted candles are like a hug in a mug like a cup of tea or a cup of um, lemon water or ginger or something like that they're like a hug in a mug um so i got a lot of pillar candles that i set up around the house and I light them on the days where I feel really crappy. But yeah, so I pick them up from everywhere. I get, I have candles from at home. I've got candles from Mr. Price. This, the pillar candles are very nicely priced from Mr. Price. And they, they've got the big size candles. Um, this one is also from Mr. Price. The ones upstairs in my bedroom are from at home. Uh, I was recently gifted one Diptyk candle and I don't even want to burn it. I don't even want to burn it. Candles, my vibe, definitely essentials. In in this house, in this here house, candles are essentials. Uh, another thing that's an essential that is not new to you guys for me is a cup of tea. Okay, this is an essential. I think you guys know this about me. You have seen it in multiple videos of mine. I love me some green tea. I drink all types of uh, tea. I've got all types of tea in the house and I've got canisters in my kitchen that have different types of teas that are individually wrapped. Um, the ones that I have right now are the Tony teas and it, one is Roy Boss, one is lemon, one is whatever. And then I've also got the, um, the tea that you strain out and all of that. Listen, tease my vibe, tease my laugh, tease my jam. Uh, tea makes me feel warm, tea makes me feel comforted, tea makes me smile. It's not even a lie. Uh, tea makes me happy, so I drink a lot of tea. So tea for me is a definite essential in my home or in my space wherever I am at. If I'm traveling, tea must be there, you know? The next thing I'm going to put in one category, but it's two different things. Here we go. So this is the apple cider vinegar raw unfiltered from Bragg's with the mother. I mean, it's my channel. If you're on my channel, you know. This, that, that's the thing. This is normally how I start out my mornings. I haven't had it for quite a while. As you can see, this is the big one. Uh, it's the it's a new one that I I finally saw in one of the stores. I was just like, yo, but from where is the Brexit guy? Brexit guy. And eventually I saw it two days ago at um, okay at this came there by me and I snatched it. I snatched it real real quick. Um, but this is essentially how I start my mornings with a glass of apple cider vinegar. Also, another way I start my mornings is a cup of this, which is lemon and ginger. And then I'll add a teaspoon of turmeric in it. Turmeric has got great properties. This is uh, the turmeric from Woolies. 
Turmeric has get, got great properties, reduces inflammation, it's great for the skin and all of those things. But mostly for me, it's, it's, I use it for the inflammation purposes. Um, so it really, really, it's great. And it's also great for the times that we are in. We are within some serious times. So turmeric is really great. If I don't have my lemon ginger water with turmeric, I sometimes substitute it with cayenne pepper. It depends. This is how I roll two times a day. And my phone is ringing, so disrespectful. Um, I'm actually recording, so you're being disrespectful. And then uh, more essentials are my planners. I think I've spoken about this multiple times, whether in a sit down video or whether in a vlog, my planners are very important to me. My faith is very important to me right now. Uh, so my Bible is extremely important to me. And this is a book that I use to write down my nightly verses of the day, passages from the Bible every single night. I actually sort of have like a, a full on like study session with myself, like a Bible study session where I uh, pray and I read the verse of the day and I, I sort of have, uh, I cultivate that verse of the day to my life. I cultivate, I integrate that verse of the day into my life and I pray around it and I, and I do my prayer surrounding my verse of the day and it's always like a Bible study session in my home. And then of course, um, planners, the planner that I'm currently using right now is the Boss Planner, the 2021 Boss Planner. Absolutely love this. Um, I, I, am, I am a mess if I don't plan. Okay, I'm a mess if I don't plan. I have been quite a mess for the past two weeks because of other things that have just forced me to um, stop everything dead in my tracks. I just needed a moment. And that's exactly what I did. However, when I am in the full swing of things, I am within. I'm planning, I'm highlighting, I am organizing my life. And I do that through a plan. I've got... Uh, I think if you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I've got three different types of planners that I use. This is just one of them uh, because this one's my favorite one. <laughs> I think I just might end up just transferring everything to this planner, uh, but this is the one that I look at every single day. And I've pretty much started jotting everything down in this one. So I might reduce from three planners to one or maybe two. I don't know. But planners, everything. Um, that's how I get shit done. The next thing, I mean, would it be my channel if I didn't show you this? Would it? Would it? I always have a one liter bottle of water that I am drinking from. My current favorite bottle is this one. I've got a lot, a lot of bottles that I picked up, you know, USN bottles, uh, listen, uh, bottles from at home. All of them are one liter bottles. This one is from Clicks, and um, I drink three or four of these, sometimes even five on a good day, every single day. Three liters, anywhere between, not even three, three liters is too little for me in a day. Uh, anywhere between four and five liters a day of water, I am within, within, with the, with the water. Um, it's an essential. What do you mean? We're made up of water, but it doesn't necessarily mean you shouldn't drink it. It's... The next thing is a book, because who am I? Do you watch my channel? I want everything you see on my channel to correspond with my life, right? So that you don't watch my video and then you think, how is it that Katla was suddenly talking about books, but we've never heard her. She's talking about how a book is her essential, but we've never seen her with a book on her channel. Do you know what I mean? So everything must correspond just so that I can show you. I'm not lying. I am not lying. So um, currently this is what I am about to read. I'll probably start reading it sometime this weekend. Um, this is the Brown Skin Reads Book Club Book of the Month. And yeah, I always have a book. I'm actually going to film a book review right now, a book wrap up, but I always have a book with me. And then two other essentials. Lip balm. Lip balm is everything to me. Lip balm, I carry it everywhere. Listen, if there is one thing you should not have, it's dry chapped lips. It's not a good look, doesn't look nice. Stop it. Stop. The lips must at least be glossed up or the lips must be balmed up, okay? And my favorite balms, and I repurchase these all the time, that I don't buy anything else. If I need a balm and I'm out of a balm, I love the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast 
Lev something. It's a barrier repairing balm. This is basically what it looks like. It is one of my favorite balms. I love this stuff. This stuff is really, really good. And then of course, a standard, a regular, a household, a receipt, a household item, and whatever, whatever. <laughs> a standard in, in a lot of people's handbags is Carmex. And for me, Carmex is a fave. Here we go. Comex is a fave. I absolutely love my lip balm. Very weird about dry lips. So, it's not a foul. It's not a foul. Oh. On the side of that, lip gloss is also a fave of mine. Um, this is for every day. This is for the days that I'm not even wearing makeup, like today. Like, I don't, I don't. I don't care them about, you know, but I've got lip gloss on my lips right now. You guys know I am the queen of nude lip gloss or nude lipsticks. I'm wearing different types, different kinds all the time. Okay, so I want to I wanna prove to get, come on now. And you know my favorite one is the Catrice Volumizing Lip Booster. I've got about 10 of these in the house. <laughs> and all of them, I don't quite know where they are. So some will be in my bag, some will be in the this, some will be in the there, you know. And then at two clothing items, so I'm going to put this under one clothing. Two clothing items, I'm always within a sweater. I think we all know this sweater. We've seen it a lot. It is clean. It's been washed. Um, sweater and leggings, black tights. It's always a thing. Even when people see me at the mall, I have probably got over 30 different types of sweaters, different colors, different everything. Most of which are black, of course. And then I've got white ones and all of that. But most of the time, when people see me in the mall and they say, Hey, Gatleo, how are you? I watch your channel. Oh my God, you're wearing the sweater that you always... And I'm just like, yep. And it's actually quite sad because my wardrobe kind of feels neglected. Like the rest of my wardrobe. Because that is, this is what I'm forever in. And I'm very comfortable in it. And it, I make sense to myself when I'm wearing the most comfortable clothing. I ain't finna lie. I've got really great clothes. I've got really, really awesome awesome clothes but i am most comfortable in these two things finally i think this is point number 11 i am going to do justice to the world we are currently living in and i'm going to show you one final essential are you ready don't tell me this isn't an essential for you too i mean you'd be lying if you are watching this like ah marcato Mas, yes how about, yes, protecting yourself and protecting others? You're protecting others from yourself. So, yes, I am going to tell the truth and say a mask is my essential. And I've got masks in different colors. I prefer these. When I started out, I was like, okay, let's get the sparkly ones. Let's get the blah, blah. And I'm just like, okay, no. This is going to be our life for a very long time. And a lot of the time, those sparkly ones and the decorative ones and whatever are quite heavy and just heavy around this area. Um, for me, these ones are breathable. They are perfect. I've got them in all shapes and colors. I've got black ones, blue ones, yellow ones, pink ones, and I love them. And I feel like they, they're great. They're breathable. I don't have to worry about, um, uh, how heavy it feels on my face. I'm so used to it being there that it, I, it just doesn't bother me anymore. And I know that on the days where I'm wearing makeup, like today, I'm going to be heading out for lunch with one of my friends. I know that I'm just gonna, and then gonna throw it out. I don't have to worry about, oh my God, the makeup is all over the mask. Now I have to wash it. Ugh. Throw it out. That's it. That's it. Okay, that's pretty much it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed my 10 slash bonus 11 essentials inspired by GQ. Um, if you are watching this and you're a YouTuber and you want to do it, do it. I really would love to see what essentials people are carrying around with them. <laughs> now, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you did, please subscribe, comment, like, click the notification bell so you know when I've subscribed. We are on our way to 20,000. Okay, we have just hit, if last I checked, just hit 15.3. So we are on our way to 20,000. 20,000. Let's get us there. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you in another one. Mwah. Sayonara.